welcome to Hard Knocks Love Tarot. I know I'm up and personal in your face today, but for the purposes of sound and hearing, that's what's going on today, okay? So if you feel stiff, like you're gonna go frozen because you're staring directly into my eyes, <laughs> and I suggest you look away. Match it up a little. Please remember this is a general reading. Not everything is gonna re uh, resonate with you. This is not a personal reading. Please take what does resonate. Toss the rest in the fuck bucket. Please understand this is a love read. Roles can be reversed. Please do not force the message. If it's not your message, it's just not your message, and that's okay. This is a general collective read for the collective. Spirit, guides, and angels, thank you for giving me the messages that I'm about to receive. That includes Galactic Council, Source God, the Almighty Creator, and the Most High. Ancestors as well, past loved ones. Thank you for coming into this read for the collective the viewers today and tomorrow. Whenever they find this read is when they're meant to find it. Two of Pentacles. Everybody's got choices. Choices. Everybody's got choices. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Hmm. Should I be committed or should I run amok? Do I stay? In this committed relationship or do i have some other options to explore do i want to follow my heart or do i want to follow my fart do i want to choose this committed relationship somebody's thinking about it do i want to marry this person or do i want to just keep dating them am i ready could be anything i'm reading for a lot of people bam the three of swords in reverse this is not an easy decision, okay? This one's about to flip out. And this is the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone wants to put down their player game. Someone wants to put down their, uh, their joystick, their remote control. Hmm, I want to clarify these. These are definitely going to be clarified. Let's get more, please. Seven of Swords. No longer. Hmm. Someone's being broken their breaking their own heart by carrying on this higher energy. But I'm just hearing like they don't know how else to live, they don't know how else to be. But they did lose a love with the Queen of Cups in reverse. They don't like it. The King of Swords in reverse. Someone's feeling certain kind of way about not speaking up, not speaking their truth, not saying what it is that is on their mind. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more. Oh, weird. This one was already flipped over and then it flipped back. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is. The most the biggest concern is their stability. Is this going to, is this connection going to take anything from me? What is this connection going to take away from me? Do you see? Do you see how whole, how tightly this person is holding on to their coins, holding on to their stability, holding on to their everything, holding on to their beliefs, old beliefs that might need to be dropped? Let's clarify. And the bottom of the deck is none other than the Six of Cups. So this just might be a continuation from yesterday's read. This is feelings of nostalgia for this connection, okay? So, to clarify these bad boys, I'm going to be using the unusual animal messages. Because I myself am unusual. Here we go. Mm. See too many guys. Getting in the zone right now, kids. Two of pentacles. Clarify, please, spirit. Choices. Everybody's got choices. Choices. This one wanted to pop out. Platypus. 
Hi. We are curated gallery of our influences. This is telling me this person is being pulled left and right and listening. Which is dumb. It's stupid. Why would you listen to what other people have to say about how you feel about your life, about what you're doing? Let's get another one. We got two. Horseshoe crab. Self-transformation is necessary for personal growth. Another crustacean. Pistol shrimp. Your voice has power. So someone definitely needs to speak up here. Someone definitely has some growing up to do. Okay, some self-transformation is necessary for personal growth. And I do feel like what needs to change is the fact that you, that somebody, you or your person is being influenced heavily by people in their life. And they are counting them in the equation when it comes to their decision making. Which a grown adult should never do. You should make your own decisions based on your own experiences, your, your own thought. Right? Not based on what other people have to say. They weren't they don't have enough information. They're not they didn't experience the experiences you experienced with that person. So how the fuck would they know I'll have any idea or have the right to comment? Because of what you told them, because of what they told them, because of what other people are thinking, because there's a lot of gossip here. There's a lot of untruths that are happening here. The Hierophant, live life to the fullest. Again, this pushing and pulling energy. What's going on with this Hierophant? Too many cards on that one. Maybe somebody's thinking, I've been married already. I don't want to be in a committed relationship. Being single and being out there and doing this and that, that's living my life to the fullest. Tardigrade, embrace uncertainties and let life surprise you. Yeah. That's how I feel. I feel like someone is purposefully gravitating away from any type of commitments, any type of um, spiritual pull that they feel from God, they are rejecting it um, because of their hell-bent idea that masquerading around and being influenced by multiple people is the life of Riley. That's what they think. But this person, whoever I'm speaking about, is in a lot of pain. And they would like to stop hurting, but what they don't understand is they're causing their own pain by the way that they're thinking. And the, but yeah, essentially that's where it's coming from, the way that they're thinking. They need some major transformation. It says right here, it's necessary for personal growth, or they can stay where they're at. Let's get one more card for this hair font card, please. Spirit. What's up with this hair font card, please? Ooh, I tend to mumble at times, so I do apologize. Try to speak up a little bit louder. Hair font. Play to your strengths. The goblin shark. And again, that's what I feel like this person is doing. Their strength is to be secretive. Their strength is to be... Um, you know, the joker in the pack. Their strength is to be seen and then be unseen, to be a mystery, to be this um, person that, um, you know, basically a knight, a knight. You know, player energy. <sighs> Let's move on. Three of swords in reverse. Doesn't want to be in any type of heartache anymore. Getting out of the heartache. What's going on with this card, please? Sir? Okay. 
remember the importance of play. The Japanese macaque. Macaque, it says. <laughs> I kid you not, it says macaque. See? Macaque. Remembering the importance of play. See, monkey's playing with his balls right here. Hmm. I feel like this person jumps into this very immature, playful energy instead of dealing with their issues. They avoid it by acting as if it's not an issue laughing over it, bypassing it, and not really feeling, not really facing what their problem is. Just laughing it off like, like an idiot. Let's get more on the Three of Swords in reverse. Now this person's trying to heal by laughing it all away. Upside down catfish, find different ways of looking at problems. Exactly, this person is not actually wanting to look at these problems, actually turning away from looking at these problems by switching into foolish, fully full mode and just acting it out as if it's not a problem when in reality this person is in a lot of pain and is trying to heal but not knowing how to because they're not listening to their intuition, they're not listening to their higher self, they're not listening to their guides and instead they're continuing to operate in the same way that they have been in the past which is over the cycle is over this person is refusing to go with the flow this person is backed up this person should already be on the road to transformation but they are and i feel intentionally not doing that intentionally which means this person is aware and intelligent and is intentionally giving the middle finger to themselves really not very smart give me one more on this three of swords please in reverse common swift persevere and trust the process this person needs to be in control at all times even if it means self uh sacrifice I know it's hard to uh, comprehend, but their their idea of what freedom is, their idea of what freedom is, is looking away from it, is dodging it, right? Swifting away from it and, you know, playing with their balls all day, hiding behind Hiding behind the snow, this person might secretly be doing some coke, <laughs> despite his big ball of white right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this person uh, just falls into, you know, party mode, um, you know, YOLO, you know, fuck it, upside down catfish, and, you know, instead of flying solo, rising above. all the um, distractions and coming to terms what is really needed to heal this broken heart. Okay, let's move towards the Seven of Swords. This person does see the arrow of error. I said arrow, the arrow of their ways. Hmm. Okay, they have a target, do they? A target to fix maybe something that they have lied, stolen, or cheated in the past. Find a schedule that works for you. Kakarotch. We are all interconnected. See pin. Ooh, spirit wanted to give me all three at the same time. Ask for help when you need it. Warthog. So this person 
is having trouble trying to fit in all of their responsibilities and their personal life. Um, they're having trouble balancing it all out. They're having trouble relating to other people, acting as though nobody understands where they're coming from. And they also have an ego. They also, it's hard for them to ask for help. It's hard for them to say, look, I need help. Um, this person wants to, or at least understands the need to be vulnerable, to be real, to not lie, cheat, steal, hide how they're thinking, how they're feeling. Okay? The Seven of Swords wants to win at any cost. That means lying, cheating, stealing, manipulating. Look, I'll leave you two swords so you can be in confusion and not know what the fuck to do, but I'm not going to give you the thought. I'm not going to give you the communication that you need to make the best decision for yourself because I'm not letting you see my cards. I'm not letting you use any of these swords. I'm stealing from you. I'm lying to you. I'm keeping you in the dark so that I win. I don't care if it's not fair. See, but this person wants to change that about themselves. They do. They need help. They feel like they are trying to jump on a merry-go-round. They don't feel like they have any time for anything. This person feels like they have a monopoly on sorrow. Nobody understands them. Nobody could. They put themselves in a whole different category that nobody can touch. And that might have been favorable to them at one point in their lives when they're going through trauma. But now spirit is asking them to understand that we are all interconnected. That just because somebody doesn't isn't going through exactly what you're going through in this lifetime, that doesn't mean that they can't touch upon another lifetime and feel that experience that they did experience in another time. That's what being empathetic is. That's what's having empathy. But if you come off with an attitude, if you come off all fucked off, like this person has been coming off, then of course no one's going to want to, you know, bow down and, and help and be sweet with if, if this person's coming off as somebody who feels that they're superior. Superior. Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant. This person doesn't think that God has anything of value to enlighten them by. <laughs> totally ignoring the signs. Moving on to... I'm not, I didn't see those cards, but I, I just want to um, clarify that I would like to get more on the Queen of Cups, please, Spirit. If it's for us, it'll come out again, okay? Queen of Cups, please. In reverse, someone's missing their love that they have lost, okay? Or maybe they're just not feeling the love to give. Cuttlefish, be observant. Gain clear insight for better decisions. Mm -hmm. Donkey. Be kind. You never know what someone is going through. Let's get one more. Vulture B. This is insane. Recognize similarities and cultivate empathy. And I do feel like this is what somebody needs to do. I do feel like someone's higher self is coming through the cards right now and is trying to communicate. There's somebody that took their love away. There's a queen of cups out there that is having trouble seeing past this mask of this very low vibrational stubborn human being over here that tried to lie, cheat, and steal their way to the top. 
at the same time looking for sympathy and empathy and help. That person is speaking to the Queen of Cups and saying, you're making the wrong decisions about me. You're not seeing me clearly. I feel like this is two people's higher selves talking to each other right here, okay? And the broken person that needs healing says, recognize the similarities between us and cultivate more empathy. But see, I feel like the Queen of Cups has had it already. Okay, so this might be too late, this plead, this softness all of a sudden. Donkey, be kind. You never know what someone is going through. Also, snail, rest when you need to. So, yeah, there's a conversation here. Let's move on to the King of Swords. Yes, this King. I'm wanting to meet with the Queen. Okay, male, female energies. That's all. Could be reversed. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> See, this king this king is not really a king because a king will say what's on their mind. This person doesn't. Okay? This person will give a little bit. They don't want to give a lot of power away. They don't want to say too much. They want you to actually just know intuitively. They want you to be so empathetic and so giving to them and so in touch with their energy that they just want you to know how to interact with them that will be to their best benefit. They don't even care about your, but to their best benefit. Okay? And that's what's part of the problem here. Very selfish energy. Good manners are appreciated and remembered. Holy shit. So again, this person... This king in the reverse, this seven of swords in reverse, this hierophant card that is being rejected, this person that wants to heal, this person with options and choices and flees to, to freedom and playfulness, to avoid real work, to avoid ascension, to avoid um, coming into their skin as a, uh, you know, as who they're supposed to be, as their higher divine uh, being. They're avoiding all that. They're avoiding all that. Instead, they want you to show good manners. They want you to remember the good times of everything that they've done for you. They want you to appreciate them. They want you to see the hidden messages. They want you to make the correct changes and feel empathy for them. But they don't want to do anything. Or they haven't. Let me take that back. They want to, but they haven't. And if they really want to, they would, wouldn't they? So when they say they, they, they want to, do they really? Because what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing is they can't. And I feel like that's bullshit. So the last card on the table was the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Not wanting to lose anything. Not, that's why this person is holding on to old beliefs, old ways of living, um, old solutions, old people, old whatever the fuck. They don't want anybody to take away whatever it is that they feel that they have. They're very, don't take anything away from me. Don't take my money. Don't take my time. Don't take my freedom. Don't take my friends. Don't take my baba. But let me take from you, though. Focus attention on your strengths and abilities. Mantis shrimp. Let's get two more. See, this person has a low self-esteem. They feel like. Any type of vulnerability is a huge loss, and it's very scary for them. They don't understand that instead of standing on their strengths and abilities for power and greed, they should be standing on it in gratitude and strength, right? People that understand their strengths, people that understand that everybody has strengths and weaknesses and abilities and disabilities. They fear nothing. They're not jealous. They're not, um, they just have standards and they either put, you know, they either put their foot down when their standards are not being met or they don't. But this person is so low vibrational, so self-esteem is so low that they, they use their abilities and their strengths in a negative way. 
Wait. We're gonna get these messages out, I promise. Okay, so one flipped over and it was the rosy maple moth. You are capable of great things. Yeah, this person again has a very low self-esteem, which is why they try to avoid things. They don't think that they are capable. They don't feel worthy of rising up, for stepping up, for being different. See the world from different perspectives, exactly. This person is stuck, or trapped in their own brain and they need help. So, so let's get um, let's get some advice. I'm gonna get a different deck, and I'll get one. I'll get advice for the feminine energy, which is the Queen of Cups, and I'll get advice for the um, King of Swords in reverse. I'll get advice for both of those. Okay. for uh, advice for the start with the king i do feel bad for this person but that's getting old okay time's running out big time i do feel like this person's cycle has reached its course you know it's god doesn't hang on forever don't think that take that shit for granted if you feel like you're being spoken to you better acknowledge that shit you better acknowledge it that's the only way to keep in contact to keep close with your spirit guides to keep close with god to acknowledge it to acknowledge the energy that you're being sent all right let's get advice for the king of swords in reverse let's advice for this king please Masculine energy, masculine sword energy in reverse. Advice, please. The seven of pentacles as well. Whatever it is that is in your life that you value, nurture it. Nurture what it is that you value. Do things to help it grow. Focus on those things that you value most, that you like to surround your life with. What does your life look like when you have everything that it is to have your soul feel at peace and content? What is it? Is it your kids? Is it your person feeling secure in the relationship? Is it your parents being around? Is it your relationship with your parents? Is it a good relationship with your boss? Is it working out, getting outside, being in, into nature more? Is it being creative? Is it creating closer bonds with your friends? Whatever it is, focus on that and do things to create positive energy and growth. Too many fingers and too many pies so to speak, and way too many people in the kitchen trying to delegate what's going on in your life. Let's get more for the king, please. This king doesn't like, kings don't like to get advice from anybody. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you know, money's not everything. Focus more on your energy and money will come. If you're stressed about money all the time, feeding that energy of lack of not having is just going to encourage the universe to give you more of nothing. Be grateful for what you have. Stop looking at yourself as someone who doesn't have things. You're rich. Look around. 
you have more than the next guy. It could always be less. Be grateful. Be in the energy of gratitude. What else for this king, please? Five of Cups in reverse. Stop thinking about things that you cannot change. The Moon card. What's up with this Moon card, Spirit? Three of Cups. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Spirit is saying, you being hidden in the darkness, you worshiping the moon, you entertaining people in a very sneaky kind of a way is not going to is, is only going to further uh is only going to make your healing process continue it's not going to let you heal you being in this very dark mysterious it's just a very i'm feeling a very dark energy here especially with the three of cups just like, I, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I just think like sex parties. Sex parties, right? Things hidden. Things hidden with people. Secret things with certain people. Here and there, sprinkles of deception and lies is only going to keep you in this Ten of Swords energy. You're not going to heal. Two more, please, for the king. Two more for the king, please. Oh, I know I'm way over time. I'm going to be late for work. Two more for the king, please. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Time to focus on one thing when it comes to money as well. Kind of all over the place. Kind of a man, a jackal of all trades. Kind of skipping from one job to the next, male or female. Time to really focus on that one thing that you like and you know maybe this means also it's time to save some money maybe you someone's been spending too much all right the knight of cups this is the kind of night energy i was talking about and it came up i don't even know it didn't even want to come out and someone's super pissed that i'm even doing this read and i don't care but the night energy, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The night energy is not, is not what's happening. Knight of Cups, please, Spirit. Clarify it. Eight of Wands. <laughs> wow. That's what I feel like this person runs by, the Empress. Yep. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Someone keeps getting uh, comforted that their night energy. Someone keeps getting comforted that that um, that this is okay, that this is a good thing, that this is something that they should be proud of, that this is a talent. There's an empress. There's somebody in their life, their mother, or just um, a feminine energy, or it could, you know, that could be a male, it could be a friend that just keeps encouraging them. Yeah, your player ways your your um your shifty ways your uh oz behind the curtain that's where it's at man don't don't talk don't think about um what your higher selves don't think about just focus on your game focus on your game player focus on your game player play that shit somebody is in their corner telling this person that okay so you might want to not listen because they're not really your friend they don't really want to see you do well what about for the for the queen What's advice for the queen? I'm going to put all this back. Ooh.
Two of Wands in reverse. <laughs> so it says stop. Stop. Turn around. Do not move forward. This person needs to do some healing. This person needs some going up to do. Do not entertain this. Page of Swords. Clarify some of these. Let's get to some more. Advice for the Queen, please. Page of Cups in Reverse. And the Ace of Cups in Reverse. A bunch of stop cards, okay? Page of Swords. Send along your little text. Send along your message. Let them know. Let them know what's up. But do not engage. Do not rekindle. All of these cups in reverse saying do not start this up again do not accept this page do not accept this low five love bombing bullshit energy look at six of swords in reverse what's that all about spirit don't don't run away don't sail away from what from love completely let's get one more card and we'll clarify Where it says turn around and go back to something. Let's see, the King of Wands. There might be somebody else in the energy. Let's see here. Clarify the Two of Swords, please. Two of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups. Yeah. There's too many choices here for the other person. Okay. And there's too many possibilities for you, Queen, male or female, um, or King, you know, whatever. Just energies. You relate to one story, you relate to the other. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay? Um, but uh, there's definitely options here on both ends. Whatever you're going through, Spirit says stop. Stop in the name of possibilities and not needing to, you know, be a slave to this other toxic situation here. Uh, page of Swords. King of Wands. Oh, dear. And we have the King of Wands over here. Got the lion back there, Leo energy. <sighs> um, there is a King of Wands in your energy that wants that ass, okay? Or that you want their ass. Either way, there's some messages coming and they're not forgetting about you. It might be that this King of Swords in reverse might be getting some fire under their ass, but not accept this page. Let's see what's going on with this page of cups in reverse. Holy shit, the six of swords in reverse comes out again. Spirit, what is going on? We have the ace of cups in reverse. Okay. Spirit wants you to wait on this person. What the fuck? But to not engage on anything new with anybody else. Two of Swords. Wow. Wow. This person wants you to be in the Two of Swords. This person, again, communication. <laughs> wow. This person's saying, wait, don't fucking, don't drift away from me. I'm going to step up. I want to step up. And Divine Feminine is saying, well, you better fucking step up because I know we both have options and I am not taking these scraps that you're trying to fucking give me. There will not be a new beginning, Ace of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Magician, exactly. This person is trying to manifest a new beginning, but with the same old energy from the past. It's not going to work. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, trying to take the Queen's power away. Trying to take her tongue away. Trying to say, you know, shh. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care. <laughs> Zip it. Because this is how it's going to go. Nobody. No girlfriend. No boyfriend. That's not how it is. Okay. You can't just treat the queen 
or king any which way and tell them like how it's going to go down. There needs to be an equal give and take. That's what makes it a queen and a king. All right, let's move on to the six of swords. We cut that twice. Somebody is very much so. And I do feel like spirit is a green, not to fully. Spirit says, look, this is a comic lesson. You're needing to go through this, you all. You all need to be going through this right now. Don't throw this out of the water. I know that they've been acting like a knight. That they have been showing no uh, stability when it comes to you, your relationship. But I'm working on it. And I'm going to stop this shit. I'm putting the foot down. Do you see this shit? The King of Wands. What's the future? Actions of the Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Showing the queen that they are a queen. That they are valued. That they are vulnerable. The full card and the eight of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> yeah. They're going to jump in. They're going to trust. They're going to jump in. But with this eight of pentacles in reverse... It looks like they might self-sabotage it at the end of the day. What's going on with that card, please? Yeah, Five of Cups. They're going to regret their actions again. They're going to fuck up again. They're going to try to do it and try to fuck it. Oh, my God. The death card in reverse. This person's not going to change. Wow. Okay, so the other person's energy is very strong and took over the advice read uh, on the queen's end. But queen knows what's up. Take those messages how they resonate with you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Namaste.